Nice, I see a little boardwalk up ahead. And this must be some kind of little connector trail, shortcut. Wow. Oh, this one's fairly new. Stream probably has a little tidal influence. A last little look at the stream that flows between two trees. <laughs> yeah. Now that's it. Here's our grand loop blaze indication. Yeah, this place probably will be a soaking mess until April sometime, mid-late April, whereupon black flies and mosquitoes will have their turn. Yeah, we're drifting in some general direction towards settlement as I attempt to skirt the wet. Ah, here we go. Uh -huh. Kind of hairpin turn. <laughs> Look at the way it's blazed. This is great. A little inviting run of blazes stretching out to the vanishing point. <laughs> yeah, this place is good. It's a little minimalist, but who cares? That could very well be a good thing. Okay. 
Okay. Once more. We strive to skirt the wet. Ooh. -ooh. The tundra has broken through. That's dear. Looks like we're crossing some kind of old carriage road or something. And then there's a stream there. A carriage road that became a stream road. <laughs> I was premature. An end run would seem to be in order. Looks like we're coming back to a trail junction of sorts. of needle and leaf duff functions as an insulator to keep the frozen substrate holding up a little later than might otherwise happen. Ah, yes, we're back to a juncture. This is all a grand loop. A fun one it is. Now it's time to go look for the bicycle. 